Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by Hyundai, new thinking, new possibilities. Hey, 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 welcome to an all new Auto Line Daily. Volkswagen is on a quest to become the number one automaker in the world by the end of the decade, and to meet that goal, the company is planning to triple the number of SUVs in its lineup. The Tiguan and Touareg are the only SUVs VW currently offers, but Bloomberg reports that it will expand to six models over the next few years. We know that one of those will be the, based on the cross blue concept that debuted at the Detroit Auto Show last year but the company is still debating whether to build that vehicle in Tennessee or Mexico. Reuters reports that VW is delaying that decision because it's looking for the best incentives package each site has to offer. If you're looking for that new SUV to drive your kids around in, then you're in luck. Honda just announced that the new 2015 Pilot will go on sale today at a starting price just over $30,000. This eight-seat family SUV is equipped with a 250-horsepower 3.5-liter V6, which lends an EPA highway fuel economy rating of 25 miles per gallon and towing power of up to 4,500 pounds. And if you're looking for a little more, you can also grab the new special edition trim level. It comes with new spiffed-up aluminum rims, one-touch open sunroof, Sirius XM radio, and a rear DVD entertainment system. The special edition starts just over $33,000, and all trims are available in both two- and four-wheel drive. In an effort to make its dealership experience better for both its customers and technicians, Kia is launching its new global diagnostic system. It's a mobile-based system that was designed and optimized to be used on a tablet. Most other diagnostic tools have a wire that connects it to the vehicle, but Kia's new system does not have to be connected because it has both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi functions. This should allow the technician to more quickly identify what's going on with the vehicle, saving time for themselves and the customer. I wonder if a repair procedure or even a wiring diagram could be pulled up while at the same time checking for fault codes, because that would be pretty cool and save even more time. Car sales worldwide continue to rise, but the pace slowed down a bit in April. Wards reports that global car sales in April hit 7.2 million units, up 1.6% compared to a year ago. That's the smallest gain since last June. Sales in North America and Asia, particularly China, helped push the industry into positive territory. In Europe, sales were up just half a percent, and South America saw sales plunge nearly 20%. Through April, automakers have sold close to 30 million vehicles which is up a little over 3% compared to last year. And in other sales news, luxury sales in China are expected to double by the end of the decade. Last year, automakers sold 1.4 million luxury cars in China, an 18% increase, which puts the country in second behind only the U.S. By 2016, Price Waterhouse Coopers predicts that China will become the number one luxury market in the world. PwC also forecasts that China will hit 3 million in luxury sales by the end of the decade. We've shown you Ford's inflatable seatbelt in the past, but now the Blue Oval is trying to get other automakers to adopt its safety belt. Ford is offering the patented technology to not only its competition, but other industries as well, like the military. Ford introduced the inflatable seatbelts back in 2010 and they're currently available for second row passengers in the Fusion, Flex, and Explorer, plus the Lincoln MKT and MKZ. Coming up next, a look at this year's Gumball 3000 Rally. There's so much to love about Bridgestone's Dueler tires. The amazing traction, the quiet, comfortable ride, and they're really tough. It's like loving three tires in one. Recently, John got to speak with actor Antonio Sabato Jr., who also blogs for the dating site Anastasia Date. 
The website is a sponsor of this year's Gumball 3000, which is a 3,000 mile international rally that kicks off this week in Miami and finishes in Europe next week. Here's John's interview with Antonio. I'm talking right now with Antonio Sabato Jr., who's promoting the Gumball Rally, this time the Gumball 3000. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the movie from the mid-70s called Gumball Rally, but Antonio, explain what the new Gumball 3000 is all about. Uh, this is going to take place uh, in Florida, all the way down to Europe. They're going to go to Paris as well. They're going to put these cars on boats, and they're going to, you know, on ships, and they're going to go all the way to England, and then drive them all the way down to Ibiza. So this is an event that I uh, tried to promote with AnastasiaDate.com, which is uh, something that I've been uh, associated and working for for about a year. And now this week is pretty much over for me, so I'm uh, moving on to other things. But uh, they asked me what other ways we can promote Anastasia, and I said uh, Gumball would be a great series to put um, the logo on the car and drive these cars for many, many miles, and uh, it gets a lot of uh, PR all over the world. So I wish I could be driving in it, but uh, I won't be. But I'm here to talk about it, and uh, it's, it's a great event. Uh, a lot of people uh, from the smaller cities in, in the States on the East Coast will be able to see uh, pretty luxurious cars, uh, you know, that, uh, that are worth a lot of uh, hundreds, if not millions of dollars, uh, driving through their cities. So it's a pretty cool event. And uh, like I said, I wish I could do it, but I can't. Well, you know, one would think that you'd have some driving skills because your father, Antonio Sabato Sr., was uh, famous in the movie Grand Prix, which a lot of our viewers are going to be familiar with. In fact, he played yep. the role of uh, Nino Barlini, the Ferrari, one of the Ferrari drivers in the movie. So I would yeah. think you yeah. would know how to drive a car, too. I, uh, it's in the blood. My father was a race car driver, and, I, and I'm one. And my, my little boy, he's almost three, he, he looks like he's going to be a good one, too. So, <laughs> But I'm glad I'm not doing it in a way because if I was driving this Gallardo all the way down to Ibiza, uh, I don't know how many tickets I'd probably get. It would be pretty uh, pretty crazy, so I'm actually glad that I'm not doing it. Hey, first they got to catch you before they can ticket you. If you're in the Gallardo, man, you should be hauling uh, out in front of them. Uh, they're called <laughs> helicopters. They're going to catch you. They're going to get you, man. <laughs> well, Antonio, thanks so much for taking the time today. Very interesting what you're involved in, and the best of luck to you. Thank you, man. God bless you. Thank you very much. And you won't want to miss this week's AutoLine After Hours. Our guest will be Philippe Jansen from Jeep, and he'll be bringing in the new Renegade into the studio. So all you Jeep enthusiasts will want to see this one. That's this Thursday at 6 p.m. on our website, AutoLine.tv. But that's a wrap for today's report. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.